Hi guys, welcome to the Board of Studies MCQs. We have already finished all the MCQs from the module for SCPM. Now is the time for us to be doing all the possible uh, MCQs that are there on ICAS Board of Studies portal. These MCQs are closest to whatever you all can be getting in exams. Two things before I'll be starting, join our Telegram channel and the group for the continuous uh, updates on this subject only. Second, uh, in case you wish to be enrolling for a complete course, link is there in the description. The moment you will uh, enroll, automatically the lectures will be starting. There is absolutely no need for you all to be calling us for anything. And our lectures are seamlessly synchronized across your laptops or the iOS app or the Android app. You can watch half an hour's lecture here, half an hour's lecture there, whatever you all want. Let's start it off. We are doing chapter number one and the question for today is which of the following are the disadvantages of traditional cost management? Okay. Uh, four things. First, it ignores competition, market growth, consumer requirement. I think traditional cost management was all about what? Around in 1960s and the, around in 1970s when there were very few manufacturers in this world. Competition was not there. So costing developed only around one thing. Let's try to focus on reducing our cost. The moment cost comes down, profit automatically goes up. That is what you all learned in CA Inter also. But is that true today also? Is our focus in business only on reducing the cost? No, I think focus is on cost management and giving more value to the consumer. That is whatever is the focus today. So traditional cost management, like, you know, whatever you all broadly uh, studied in CA Inter, was all about like, you know, trying to control your own cost. It ignored the competition. It ignored the market growth. It ignored the consumer requirement. What customer wants, we are not much interested. We will sell whatever we all have, but we will try to reduce our cost. Okay, second, excessive focus on cost reduction, broad cost reduction leads to inferior quality. Now, this is again a very big drawback. Let me give you an example of your type of CA Inter because that is one thing that you will remember. You should have purchased the raw materials at 10 rupees. You purchase them at 8 rupees. Did cost reduction happen? Yes, it happened because we saved 2 rupees. But then you might have purchased inferior quality of raw material that led to bad remarks from the consumer, sales falling, your goodwill falling, your brand, your branding falling. So therefore, this is one of the drawbacks whereby we only start to be thinking cost reduction, cost reduction. But that's not very good. Third one. So even first one is a disadvantage. Second is also a disadvantage. Third one relies only on financial data, historic in nature, hence dynamics of marketing and economics are ignored. Now, one thing about traditional costing that you all should remember that there is excessive focus on financial data. Mostly the financial data will be historic in nature, that is past data. Sometimes it can be say budgeted kind of the information also. But see, budgets were usually made once in the entire year under the traditional cost management. So budgets know these days due to the changing environment of the business become outdated very soon. To give you a rational example, say in 2015 and 16, Vodafone made their budgets. They could have achieved them also, but they should have realized that somebody else are making their strategies, not budget. Somebody else is making their strategies and that was Jio. And Jio within no time made it a point that companies like Airtel and especially Vodafone actually go out of the market. They did not go. That is a different thing. But then they are on their knees. We all are aware of that. So somewhere or the other traditional cost management no, relies too much on the budgeted information or the past information. It does not try to be thinking what is constantly uh, changing in the market. It has to try to focus on the dynamics of the business that businesses are changing but it does not do that. fourth one reactive in approach it serves a corrective function rather than a preventive function again try to be thinking your standard costing we find out the variances at the end of the year and then we try to be thinking what can be done to prevent the adverse variances so the bad has already happened Traditional cost management, this is again a very big drawback. It's a corrective function. It tries to correct the things after the things have already gone bad. Now, instead of that, under strategic cost management, we only try to be thinking of let us try to have techniques. So therefore, bad things don't happen to us. It is a preventive function. Your strategic cost management, it tries to be thinking, let's adopt those techniques. So therefore, we are well prepared for the future. So I think even first one, second one, third one and fourth one are drawbacks of traditional cost management. The four options over here, one and four, one and two. 
then 2 and 3 all of the above i think so all the above are the disadvantages of cost management hence our answer should be answer number 4 that's the correct one Just as a reminder, all the MCQs of ICA's module are available in a playlist manner classified chapter wise. In case you want all the MCQs under single playlist, this is a QR code for that. You all can scan it. Share it with somebody who will require such videos. Thank you guys. Take care. All the best. Bye.